G'day everyone. As a developer or DBA or even end user, with a lot of the tools I would use to interrogate the database, whether I'm building an application or just doing ad hoc query, often I would like to keep a record of all the SQL statements I ran. Maybe I'm collecting data for unit tests. Maybe I just want to keep some sort of, not an audit trail, but a record of what I've run so I can might go back to and use them again. Most of our tools do that, but wouldn't it be cool if the database could do it for us? And in Oracle Database 23 AI, that's exactly what we've done. Let's have a look. So the first thing I'll need to do is I'll need to set SQL history enabled to being true. Unfortunately, you can't do it dynamically, so you'll need to bounce the database. I'll shut it down and then I'll reopen my pluggable database. Now that my pluggable database is open, I'll connect just as a normal user and we'll run some simple queries. I'll select count star from AMP, I'll select count star from department, and I'll also run a query that actually fails to show that even queries that didn't successfully get to the Oracle database will still be captured by the SQL history. If I do a describe on vid all the SQL history, it's not just the text we capture. In fact, you'll see there's a huge amount of columns that go flying past there. There's a lot of detail we're collecting as well. Let's drill into some of those columns. Because I've turned SQL history on, I can go get the SQL ID, when it was actually run, and the actual text itself, and various other bits and pieces that might be interesting to me as a developer. You can see there, I've collected a number of SQLs. Because I'm doing this in SQL Plus, we run login.sql when you connect, so there's a few extras in there. But if you look at the last three commands, you can see there's my select count star from AMP department. But also notice we captured the error code. So on that last example, my select count star from non-existent table, I also had error code 942. So not only do I have a nice track record of all the SQLs I've run, I have some diagnostics as well in terms of whether they successfully ran or not. So some cool stuff in there. Go check out V$ SQL History for all the other pieces of metadata we collect there. But before you start thinking, oh, hold on, if I'm having all the SQL texts I ran exposed to the outside world, surely that's going to be an issue in terms of security. This is a private to your session facility. If I do select a distinct SID from V$ SQL History, you can see I only get one single session ID. That's the session I'm currently in. This is not some sort of replacement for V$ SQL. This is V$ SQL history just for your session in order to provide that backlog or history of all the information that you've run in this session. When you leave the session, it's gone, and at no point could anyone else see it. So in Oracle Database 23 AI, once again, just another one of those really cool, simple facilities to make the developer's life easier. Enjoy.